hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> I'm Peter Fury and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Porky's Corner because I've been a helmet of the month and you need to listen to me. <laughs> yeah? So follow him, yeah? And get the fella some followers up for Christ's sake. He wears his hat on his sleeve, the good man was. So follow Porky's Corner, he says it as it is and uh, you know, I appreciate the helmet of the month, Russ. No problem. No problem. Thank you very much. Welcome, Sunny today, isn't it? How you doing, mate? How you doing, Mark? You alright, mate? Yeah, you were rough, so you, how's things? How's life treating you? I'm alright, I've just uh, <laughs> just been for the, one of them tests, haven't I? Have you? Yeah. Are you well? Yeah, I'm alright, yeah, so. I'm alright, just. Uh, it's pretty nerve wracking, everybody's like metres away, aren't they, from you? Oh, it's shopping. I went shopping uh, yesterday. It was just that was horrible. You're trying to dodge out the way in between aisles of people, and it's just yes, yeah, it's, it's uncertain times at the minute. But hopefully, um, hopefully, in the next few months, things can be completely back to normal. Yeah. So uh, I think it's a day by day thing, glass at the minute. So the numbers are dropping, so that's a positive thing. Yeah, I just want to get back to some normality. I'm sick of. Can't, you can't talk on phone to people because uh, you can't say what you want to say, can you? And uh, you've got no, people who don't want you in their house. You can't, I can't explain things what I want doing on phone with my channel. I like to be no. hands on. I mean, you can't be personal interaction when you're looking at someone right in the eyes and just seeing people's body language, can you? And uh, it's a different sort of conversation in it to one you having actually over the phone. I'm always doing this over the phone, but. So I, thought, um, so I thought I'd give you a ring today and do a Balls Deep episode 3. What are you do doing, Balls Deep. What's, um, what, are you, what are you making of um, the news and the situations going on at the minute, Russ? Well, we're boxing or...? Yeah, uh, just with boxing and... Uh, uh, it's a load of knackers, isn't it, really? It's, it's a load of... Um, it's just... Uh, people are just making up stories just to... Uh, keep it out there and um, I've just, I don't, I don't take, I'm not taking much notice at the minute with anything. Well I'll tell you what I'm going to do right, and I get on with Coogan, Coogan or Johnny Nelson are going to be my weapon at week, they might even be a joint weapon and this will be going out after weapon at week on Friday because I've got a backlog now because we're, we're starting to make videos look alright now, we're starting to get yeah. a grip of it all, you know the software and that. Now, uh, the videos that they are putting out is it's pony, isn't it? Come on. Yeah, it's not. It is. Weeks of desperation, it. doesn't it? And I'm very disappointed yeah. in, in some of so Who wants to see a compilation of Billy Joe Saunders uh, outbursts or John Fury outbursts or. Dave Allen's opinion on life in general or things he said that are controversial. Who wants to watch that again? What sort of people are these that watch this? What sort of people are they? They're just they're just fanboys, isn't they? I think I think you can tell within the numbers, you look at the videos and you can tell within the numbers Russ, but it's not it's not nothing. Um going to take much notice of to be fair I mean digging up old rivalries and stuff like that is it's, it's irrelevant now rivalries that are dead and gone I mean who cares about Dylan White and Gisora and now I mean that boy, that's that's the end of that it's done isn't it it's, yeah. no, no one cares about it. I don't even know why they were talking about a third fight before no one cares it's done it's dusted and what Dillian White and Chisora? Yeah, that'll happen like again, that. That. that will happen again. I wouldn't even watch it if you paid me. I mean, I've seen, I've seen it twice, I've seen it twice, and I know the result of the third time, so who cares, do you know what I mean? 
this is how I look at it, right? I spoke about it in a video the other day. It's recycled rubbish. Now, I had a little pop about some of the stuff on YouTube. It's probably aimed at me, saying that people are not being positive. Listen, it's all very well when you sat in your Georgian man mansion in Ingerston, Stock Essex. When you sat in your Georgian mansion that your daddy bought you when you were in your 20s, driving around in a Rolls Royce, doing 100 interviews a day, putting yourself out there, pretending to be Don King, don't let the fighter ever be bigger than the promoter. It's all very well when you're earning a million pound a week, shouting, oh, I, yeah. wanna, I don't want to see negative, I want to see positive. People need to get a life. Well, what about all them people in boxing industry that are starving? Yes. What about the kids like Dave Allen that get 12 grand to get the life and the granny punched out of him by Luis Ortiz? What sort of person puts an undefeated kid who's had 10 fights in with Luis Ortiz? It's not even that, it's not even that, Russ. It's small, box, small hall fighters, the ones that work and um, they've got work and then they train after. They've got no work now and, they, and there's no boxing, do you know what I mean? So. Like this stuff by the way, ain't they? People like that, so even the ones starting out that are not got big backing and big lucrative sponsors behind them, if people are losing sponsors and uh yeah, it's it's tough at the minute. I mean I I don't know how they I, well I think I think it'd be back boxing be back by July I reckon, behind closed doors, but <laughs> They're gonna have to do. They're gonna have to do something very creative to get people's attention to start getting people tuning in. Well, they're looking at doing something with that Stormzy, aren't they? That's an exclusive for you. That Stormzy, and they're looking at putting a comedian. These is this is some of the stuff that's ban been banded about from people at Sky. We'll put a comedian on. We'll we'll have Stormzy here and blah de blah and. What next? They're gonna have Gemma Collins and that arg there talking about yeah. intense beef. Do you I'm know what? Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. No, we're gonna say basically. Uh, we've seen people's true colours, haven't we? Now we're a couple of months with them not being relevant because people look to me, especially celebrities. Who cares about celebrities in a time like this? Who cares about £300,000 a week footballers when we've got NHS on 300 quid a week? Yeah. You see what I mean? How, how's their wage a thousand times more important than NHS? Because they're all crying now, aren't they? They all need NHS now, don't we? It's like me, I've just been down there for that test. We, we need people now, don't we? Awesome, man. You'd be lost without them. You'd be lost without these people. And these people yeah. are the real. They're the real. Uh, the real diamonds and the real heroes of yeah. society. And like, I mean, it, it, it's, it, it's. Do you know what though? It, it, like, I know we say boxing related, but it's sad. It's taken something like this to appreciate people like this. You know. Yeah. And I uh, suppose we all do it. We all take life for granted, don't we? We all yeah. take. We all take so. I mean, we're, we're, we're human, ain't we? We're all in our own bubbles, ain't we? You're in your own bubble day to day, yeah. same with me and same with everyone else, so... I've been in my own bubble yeah. since I was 15 years old, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, but I, I'm looking for... Uh, do you know, do you know what? Um, I'm looking... I just... I just want to see. Uh, I just want to see some live sport. I want to see some fights. You know, I mean, I'm probably more looking forward to seeing what football does before and b b before. But I don't know what, when football will be back. But yeah, I just and look, look, when boxing comes back, it's got to be it's straight away 50-50 scraps. You know, 50-50 scraps and um, get some competitive fights on. Do you know, what I mean, saying that's gonna. Keep me in on a Saturday night, and I'm looking forward to actually watching. Obviously, the atmosphere ain't going to be there, but you know, who, who cares? Do you know what I mean? If people spar and fight, and they've done it before, so um, you know, I mean, you just have to adapt to the environment. You know, so I think Dylan White be the first, well, one of the first fight back anyway. So, and even though that that fight ain't massively interesting by the time it come round it'd give us time to watch wouldn't it? Oh yeah, no problem. But the Dillian White Povetkin fight it should not be pay per view. Did you listen to no. Frank John fighting with Darren Fletcher? I don't be I don't That's a good podcast. 
Do you know what? I listen to so many podcasts, Russ. I mean, it's. Uh, I mean, I listen to a few boxing and a few football, and uh, but no, there's not many uh, in your channel. I, I mean, there's not that many. There's not that much hours in the day, you know. But I've seen clippings of that podcast. So, um, well, Carl's a bit outspoken, isn't he, lately? He's uh, yeah, been a bit well, quite outspoken, hasn't he, about his pound for pound ranking with that uh, Wally, whatever Wally Downs Jr. at the Sun's got him, not got him in top ten, and I think he had. A, bit of a problem with that and I agree with him uh, and then you've got what he said about Joshua said that he should be number 10 and I agree with that he's been knocked out hasn't he yeah and he's been carefully manoeuvred Joshua hasn't he for to a fight in killers killers do you know what yeah, I mean going yeah, life yeah. and death with killers now you've got how can I explain it We've got a culture there at Sky where nobody dare say a word and go against the grain. But they've now become irrelevant in all with this epidemic. So everybody wants to do a podcast. Everybody wants to be on YouTube. Because they're sat in house, they want to be out there, they want to keep their brand going. But they're all eating off the same plate as me now. Well, they're all laughing at me over two and a half a year ago. But they're not laughing now, are they? No, well, it's not easy economic times. Like anymore, sheep. I mean. Like sheep. Yeah, this is another thing they've got to change, Russ, when it comes back to normal again. Look, they've got to start. The, the biasness has got to go, do you know what I mean? And this, this is yeah, exactly. The, the bias oh, must go. BT Sport as well, John Rawlings, Barry Jones. Yeah. They've all, people keep telling me Barry Jones is this messiah for telling truth load of knackers i don't agree he's got his head two foot up warren's ass like rest of them at these tv companies we all know what goes on with pundits i know what goes on with pundits they're there to dress it up i know trust me i know i've seen it mate they're there to dress it up it's all got to stop it's got to be like sky sports if graham soonest wants to dig uh, Sadio Mane out, who they reckon is the best striker in Europe at the moment. If he wants to dig him out, he digs him out, doesn't he? Yeah, he, he's, yeah, he, um, And he's he Liverpool to... through and through. It's, we've got to start seeing some of that. We need a Roy Keane in boxing as a pundit. And I think Frotch is that man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, he probably, yeah, he probably is, but... Will he be allowed to say, well, he don't, he don't need the money, does he, do you know what I mean? But will he be shut down on certain things? I don't know, I mean... Who cares? Yeah. If he is, who cares? The bias has got to go, and we've got to have 50-50 fights to get the public back yeah. on board, because now people are going to say, do you know what? I'm fed up of going to these events. Now, how Eddie Hearn works, he's a very, very shrewd cat. What he does, he goes to these events, and he tries to shake as many people's hand as he can. He's trying to be the star. And if you get to shake Eddie Hearn's hand, you're gonna go back and tell your mates he's your pal. And then you wanna go to his next show. It's not the Eddie Hearn show, it's about the boxers. Right? Now, Eddie Hearn's dressing these up as events and going around complimenting everybody on their outfits and all that, making them feel special. He's flanneling them. The product is poo. It's poo. And if you don't believe me, eight year ago, Frotch Boot, eh? What we got now? What we got now? Ted Cheeseman against whoever as a headline, but yet, not long ago, we had Frotch Boot, eh? Do you see where I'm coming from? Let me, uh, let, let, let me digress a bit, yeah, right? Anyone who's watching this year, right, go on YouTube, right, just go on YouTube and type in the Nassim Bereba post-fight analysis, yeah, and I, I watched it, do you know when the Nassim fought Bereba, it was about 20 years ago, 19 years ago, now, 2001 I think it was, yeah. Yeah, right, and um, yeah, I watched the documentary, yeah, right, and then I watched the post-fight analysis after, right, and if you listen to 
got Barry McGuigan's on there, Nicky Piper's on there, and um, who else is on there? Nicky Piper, Barry McGuigan. Jim Watt. And Jim Watt, that was it. Glenn McCrory. I think uh, Glenn McCrory was doing a bit, uh, he was working for um, uh, in with Ian Dark actually in there, but they were obviously in the studio, the Sky Studio at the time, right? Now, if you listen to what, you listen to the, 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 the show with clips of the fight, right, and the, at that time, nothing's the man in it, you know what I mean? He's the yeah. pay-per-view yeah. star there, right? They absolutely tear into him, Rusty. If, you, if yeah. anyone go and listen to it, it's ten minutes, yeah? They absolutely tear into him, and do you know what? Everything they said, everything they sum up and say about that fight, yeah, is spot on, do you know what I mean? Absolutely spot on. And, look, like, 20 years later, Nah. We've got Darren Barker and and and, and uh, all the rest of them begin fighting up. Do you remember the Paul Smith fight against Zuga when he was about eight rounds down and they said Paul Smith is saving it for a late burst at, in the championship rounds and then he got dropped in 12th, didn't he? That's what we're up against now. You've got people who want to be in the mix like Darren Barker at Matchroom, right? He wants to big everything up Matchroom and Sky because his job's on the line. Too many of them need the f need the fees, don't they? Need the money. Whereas Frotch, multi fly, swimming in Chochai, he don't need the money, so he just does what he wants, doesn't he? They could tell him they don't want him tomorrow and he'd laugh. Right. He's not bothered, but the rest of them, they either want to be out there on telly or they want to get dates, get Sky dates, don't they? Yeah, I mean, yeah, there, there needs to be major changes. It, it, do you know what it needs? It just needs a, it needs complete fresh blood. Do you know what I mean? Complete fresh, fresh, fresh blood. Don't need no more Tony Bell. You. Oh my God! Don't even start me on the disappearing man. Oh. I don't even watch him now. You know when I see him now, I turn off. Yeah, yeah, listen, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm there with you, do you know what I mean? But it, the problem is with the, 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 the pundits, they, the pundits who are doing the job for us, the, the, the problem is they've got too many alliances still in boxing to trainers, to camps. You need yeah. someone who's just got no alliance whatsoever. What do you mean like Anthony Crawler? Anthony Crawler, a pundit on a, on a Gallagher fighter? Listen, I think and listen, Andy Lee's had some shockers, but I think he, overall he's, he's made some fair points and done some good things. But he's not going to run down an Adam Booth fighter, is he? he no, is he, Ike man? I told you, didn't I? We sat in front of me when Frotch uh, beat Groves in Manchester ringside. He were at first row, at second row, and I was jumping about like a banshee. Me and my missus at the time, and he. Uh, he went, I suppose you think that's funny, don't we? And my missus said, yeah, we fucking hate Groves, screaming she was drunk. Now, and he shot off, didn't he? Because that's his pal, innit? But so what? Boxing plays on your emotions, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But they all have the alliances to their own people and it's wrong. It's, it's like an old boys club now. They say match at day's an old boys club, but them boys on match at day, they're not bothered. They're all multi-millionaires. They, 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 they don't need sky money. Soon as Jamie Redknapp and all that, they're going to give an honest opinion. And if they have to run down their Liverpool players, they will do. Or whoever clubs yeah, they play yeah. for. Ex teammates, ex teammates, it's the same. You, you, you got to, listen, you got to take, you, you got to call it how it is, you know. So, at least on the radio, when Five Live are calling it with Mike Costello and that. And, you know, you're, you're listening to it. He will, he will tell you how it is. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's it's, it's it misleads the fans. It's, it's like what the promoters do. Do you know what I mean? When they did, they mislead the fans and they blame other parties on negotiations and that and la di da di da. Do you know what I'm saying? It's it's yeah, it's all smoke screens, isn't it? And and this is why you get so much black, didn't you? Because you come out and you, you tell it how it is and... Oh my God, listen mate, I, me and Dennis fall out all the time, don't we? It's usually me that falls out with him. Because he does things that I don't like. Listen mate, he's not behind the door, but I have to learn off him, don't I, but... 
sometimes yeah. I'll just say that's not right that and he'll say look you wet behind ears and we'll clash but I, at first I used to soak it all up then I used to think god that that's not right that ain't right that can't be right but a lot, all of it's not right it's a load of insecure men who want you to tell them that greatest but nobody wants to fight anybody do they nobody ever says I'll fight him all this about a fighter will fight so and so well yeah they might do that but then they can get out of it by saying well I want this much Tyson Fury Joshua for example is that fight ever going to happen because we've got fighters saying they're more popular than other fighters one's going to say he's got four belts others going to say he's got two belts one's going to say he's a bigger drawer and never been knocked out other one's going to say he's a bigger drawer he does numbers on IFL it's utter poo whatever happened to just getting in the ring and fighting like Leonard Duran you know or Super 6 Agler earns Leonard Duran or the Super 6 everybody fought each other didn't they apart from Andre Ward did fight Dyril did he but everybody fought each other Matt do you know what I mean Andre, Andre Ward was scheduled to fight Dyril as well but uh, he didn't Andre Ward you were yeah. shit house you didn't fight Andre Dyril no, no, we didn't. No, no, that's not true. Like, right? that's not true, Russ. He right. was scheduled to fight. He was scheduled to fight Andre Durrell. Yeah, why yeah. didn't you then? Because Durrell had to pull out because he had because he had a concussion after. Do you know when Abraham knocked him out while he's on the floor? Yeah. He had to take. He had to take a long break from the sport. They were them two. Were there was no wrong with him, mate. There was no wrong with him. Huh? There was no wrong with him. They were arguing over money. And when the money wasn't there, they were playing on the brain injury. Load of old pony, mate, he was. They both, they both sparred, didn't they, leading up to Olympics? Ward didn't want that smoke. Yeah, they're mates, didn't they, I think? So, uh. So, uh. I can't see this, this job's your theory, just so I know we won't go on about it, but I don't see this happening until late 2021 at the earliest. Do you know when I think it'll happen, Matt? When I think it'll happen is when Joshua has exhausted all avenues. In other words, if he fights pool left next and then Elenius, it'll be overkill, won't it? They will have gone to the well and milked it too much. And I think that if they do that, they could kill boxing, they could kill it off. And I think Eddie Hearn might know that now. That's why they keep using he keeps using his little allies. Like sporting icons, you little gimp hiding behind your camera, but we know who you are. Sporting icons, he's going to put everything out there to big that fight up in here. Hatman, Coogan, all the gimps from Gimpville Island will be doing their best, won't they, to get Joshua Fury done. But Tyson Fury isn't driving seat, is he? Yeah, he's calling the shots. They're not good. Joshua's not going to want that fight, but they're going to feed off Fury's name, aren't they? That's what they're going to do. To feed off his name. Right, Russ. After if Josh, if Josh gets by Pulev, yeah, right. Obviously that fight's got to happen this year, right. Pulev's not stepping aside, no matter what anyone tells you. He's not. He's 40 years old now. Do you know what I mean? He probably wants to get the payday. Just put it all on the line and get out of the sport, Russ. Right, and then his next mandatory is Usyk. Yeah, Usyk has had a long career. He's had a, you know, a long amateur career as well as done his bit in the pros. He ain't gonna want to step aside. Yeah, right. No matter what's on the t unless stupid money's on the table to not accept that fight. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So then we get into 2022. By the time. Fury beats Wilder again, yeah. By the time that happens, Dylan White's going to be his mandatory. Dylan White ain't going to step aside because the WBC will have to order that fight. Do you know what I mean? Just, just for the fact that he's been been around so long in that spot. Who's been around so long? No, been been in that spot, been in that spot. Oh, wow, Dylan White. Yeah. Dylan yeah. White's Dylan White's in that spot because he wants to be in that spot. I've got no, listen, Dylan White's had ample opportunity to fight for world titles and fight eliminators. He didn't want to do it, mate. He didn't want to fight Poole. If I do think De Dennis and Mick Hennessy and Peter got uh, Yui in there. Yeah, Dylan White pulled out, mate, after the purse bid. He didn't fight Ortiz, Wilder, 
Joshua at Wembley. He's had ample chance, isn't he? He's in this position now because he's greedy and he just wants money. He's not even fought for a European title, mate. So see, he's in this spot because of his own greed. And because he's yeah. he's the spare wheel for Eddie here and he's the oh do this for me, do that for me. That's it. He's the, che he's the chest piece, isn't he? He's the he's chest, chest piece. piece. Oh, we'll slip Dillian White in and he'll do it. We'll give him a bit of pay-per-view. This Dillian White don't even do big numbers pay-per-view, but he does enough no. to get a good wage, a good purse. So fair play to him, but he has not fought for a European title. And all these gimps from Gimpville Island who keep emailing me going, Bokey, Dillian White's world class! Well, who's he beat who's world class? Who? Parker, life and death? Chisora, two life and deaths. Who else? Lucas Brown? Come on! Pull out my asshole! Lucas Brown? It's gonna take a few of you to absolutely school him in it to just shut these people he's up. He's a tough it? kid in Idyllian White with a world class left tough. duck. But he's a one trick pony with that left duck, isn't he? What else has he got? To his game, he's tough. Oh, I'm tough. I'm a yardie. From Brixton, Mosh. <laughs> You know what, it's a, when you think about it, it's an easy payday for Tyson really, isn't it? It's a, it's a fairly straightforward style for him. Tyson Fury would take him apart, mate. Yeah. He'd take him yeah. to school and do his own work for him. Take him to 100%. school. 100%. So, um, but I mean, uh, yeah, we need to... Uh, I think they're just right. I think now with boxing, I think Matchroom must have some fights already lined up. They're just waiting for this lockdown to ease before they announce something. So, um, I don't know, they, whatever, whatever they're going to do, I don't know if they're going to try and do midweek shows or not. I mean, uh, but it, just, uh, just see what they uh, come up with. Um, with the uh, normal Saturday night shows, because they, they got where, where, where there's only four fights a lad on a card, I think, where it's behind the closed doors. They got to put on something decent. No, um, no Polish, no Polish plumber's going to be cutting the mustard, is he, Russ? Do you know what I mean? But, Listen, mate, it's I mean, got to be. It has got to be British kids, 50-50s, or I'm not interested. I don't want to see yeah. people getting five grand on a Dillian White undercard. Or some no. Polish guy fetched in for three grand as an opponent. No, 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 no. We want. They've got to. See, see, sorry to interrupt, my boss, but you know, um, some of these small old, small old kids, it might give them a good opportunity to I know. Uh, sort of come, come out of nowhere and get it, like, and just some middleweights on the small world who's not really got a big back in, sling them in. See how good they are, and give them the opportunity behind closed doors to get in with some of these bigger name fighters who we see on Sky. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like someone like there's plenty of domestic kids for Conor Ben to fight. Do you know what I mean? And um, you know, why not? Why not? Let's yeah. let's see now. He's had enough. Uh, he's had he's had a few. He's had enough warm up fights against nobodies. Let's see him again. 50 55, do you know what I mean? Some of these some of these kids from round your way, round uh, beyond neck of the woods, who uh, not got the same backing, but as equally talented or even more talented. Yeah, like I'd like I'd like to see that. I'd like to see that. Then you'd actually you'd actually you'd actually come out and say that if you see some of their matchups, you'd have to say, look, fair play. Do you know what I mean? You we get you giving us what we want, you know? Yeah. Uh, would you, uh, where'd you see that just Joshua Poole left for a game? Do you see it going to the Middle East now? Do I what? Do you see it going to the Middle East, Middle East now? Yeah, probably. They're going to go out money, is, yeah. aren't they? You think, yeah? Yeah, they're not, they're not going to test anybody, are they? No. They're going to they're no, go out no, money, is, and they're going to keep telling lies and lies and lies to us. They're going to keep us on the hook. Uh, right, Matt, listen, I've got to get off because I've just, I've got, I went into a meeting now in Sheffield, but, uh, hope you well. Well, and I'll good to speak to you, mate. Alright, mate. Up, um, well, listen, once it, once it all restarts in that and we can see this schedule and that, I'll have a, I'll, I'll call in, we'll have another chat and we go through some of these matchups, yeah? Yeah, we'll do, we'll, we'll do that. Mate, we'll we'll do that. Alright, well, listen, you take, take care. Time. 
And I hope your family's well, mate, and yeah. you look after yourself. I will, mate. Listen, thanks for coming on channel, mate. And uh, I'll get the, I'll get uh, me mate to jazz this up. All right. Anytime, mate. You're welcome. Cheers, okay. mate. Bye, bye. 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 That was Matt uh, Skelton from London, London cabbie, somebody whose opinion I respect. Uh, you cannot help but respect the kid, he's, uh, he's proper hardcore, I thought I were hardcore, but oh my god! He'd give Andy Patterson a run for his money, him, and uh, Ozzy. I don't know about Smido though, because he's gone full on casual lately, hasn't he? But, but this should be interesting today. Other than that, I'm all right. All right. Shout out to Terry Chapman Dharma. How are you doing, Terry? You all right? Huh? I was thinking about you this morning when I took Rocky for a walk. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, I forgot my uh, computer glasses. I'm gonna have to take these in here. Driving glasses. I think that's about it. Porky's lunch, a blueberry smoothie, and a banana. I've gone full on casual mode. So, I think that's about it then really, I'm going to do Weapon of the Week now, I haven't decided who it is, if it's Coogan or Johnny Nelson, I don't know, I like Coogan, I like Johnny Nelson as well, but I don't think Johnny's been Weapon of the Week yet, Johnny is a weapon though, isn't he? <laughs> and some, so, alright, so, shout out Jim Pie Security, hope you're well Jim, still waiting for you to get in touch, not heard a note from you. Uh, what else can we a shout out to? Peter Fury, how are you doing Peter? Hope you're well. Uh, get a shave Peter, you look like a father Christmas with that beard. <laughs> so, we'll give a big shout out to Ron Lyra, who's not here. So, I think I'm going to go chop my shell up now in office. So, peace out. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PokyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>